Hello everyone, Noah here for a uh, mukbang, I guess beginning. I'm here with my girlfriend, Jacqueline. Hello. And we're gonna head into the H Mart behind us. As you can see, I, I don't think you can. Oh wait, H Mart. Get some uh, some ingredients for my recipe. We're making taboki and a little bit of kimchi fried rice. So we're gonna go in there and get some ingredients. Right now we're trying to find a um, <laughs> smaller tub of paste. <laughs> Uh, once again, mild. Mild. Uh, not dealing with the hot situation. Right? <laughs> I feel this one. I like it. I definitely like this one. Show the camera. Grow success in the seeds. Hand model it. Okay. Look at this mayonnaise. It's in like a tub in a bag. And you can like squeeze it. I think that's neat. I like peaches. So we're just gonna Nothing. It's none of your concern. Okay. <laughs> this is for you. Because you're my sweet pea. That's very cute. <laughs> we are in the snack aisle. So I picked up this snack because it has a dinosaur on the package. And dinosaurs are cool. We got some kelp. We are in the seaweed aisle. Oh no, he's second guessing. Hell yeah, I conned him into um, adding mushrooms to the, <laughs> to the soup. I'm very excited. Beautiful. Um, the one that's not spicy. Because we bitches. <laughs> the main dish. It's also like 12 ounces. This is two pounds of ounces, so. Oh yeah, we're good. We have everything. I believe that's it. Give us a little cart tour. Uh, a little cart tour? Yeah. A lot of money. Um. <laughs> we got some ramen, of course. Classic. Some fresh kimchi. I'm excited about this. I don't know how one dish turned into this, honestly. I think it was well, the abundance because, of snacks. Well, yeah, snacks. And we got some, like, dumplings for the road. Dumplings <laughs> for the road, yes. Um, so, yeah. This is whatever you got. <laughs> Next food. Um, a lot of candy. Right away. And chips. Um, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, yeah. Delicious. We have concluded our H Mart trip. Carrying the bags like a gentleman. <laughs> yes. Hi, I'm Noah, coming at you with a uh, mukbang video. Today we're making taboki, but rather raboki because I wanted ramen. So, wait, as you can see, all the ingredients ready to go already. We have what, the rice cakes, we have some, we're adding some mushrooms, some little. I don't know what to call these, honestly, but they, they look cute. The pretty fish cakes. The, the pretty fish cakes. And then we have the actual fish cakes, which are right here. I was going to make just regular taboki, but then, like, I guess it wasn't really, like, filling enough at the beginning. But now I guess we're going to add some uh, ramen to it. Uh, we got all the stuff over here. We got some sesame oil. We got uh, gochujang over here. We got some sesame seeds to spice things up. A little couple of scallions, some minced garlic. Um, no anchovies because anchovies will be scared. So now we're just going to use dried kelp. It might not add a fishy taste to it really, but that'll be okay. We already did the rice because I didn't think that 20 minutes of cooking rice would make for good content. And also we boiled some eggs already to put inside of the rabbit. Bamboozled. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that was good. <gasps> Stop. No. I was crying watching that. I feel like this sugar is going to be our saving grace. <laughs> I get the distinct feeling. It smells very good, though, I gotta say. Okay, so you want to do like a walkthrough. So that's our broth, minus the anchovies. Um, this is the actual, I guess, say, you call it a, it's called the sauce, I guess. It's for, So we're going to put that in, and then there's eggs for the uh, holo, and then there's eggs for kimchi fried rice, and then obviously the rice. Um, yeah. Great, we're going off cord here. So we have kimchi fried rice here, everything's here, and then we have our actual uh, raboki. Well, not raboki yet, there's no ramen in it at the moment, it's technically just raboki. Um, we have some 
let's see, we put some mushrooms in too. There's a couple of dumplings in there, some pork dumplings. Um, I don't want to take it off because it's, it's doing its thing right now. Maybe you're not supposed to actually have that thing covered, but you know what? We're winging it. Um, so what else? We have the little fish cake things. I'm not sure if you saw, you probably see a little bit, see the little pink swirlies. Um, so in a minute or so, we're gonna throw the ramen in there, the little package, and then we're gonna be almost done. After like, what, an hour or so? <laughs> hour and a half? I know. I'm gonna eat late tonight. Hey, look at this. We had to improvise and add a little bit more water. We did, but it's okay. So make it less spicy. So yeah, just about to eat. Okay, she's got chopsticks. I don't. I'm not even gonna pretend <laughs> that I know these chopsticks. Like I need those little little kitty chopstick things, like the plastic things. Every time I actually try to use them. Oh, with the little paper roll in the middle. Yes. Okay, so made our bokey. It's all. There you go, show the camera. My mom already tried it, she really liked it. So we have one good review so far. <laughs> Hopefully it's three. We also have our kimchi fried rice. And then what are the- As well as some sides that we picked up. They're like pre-packaged from H-Mart. It just said sides. Yeah, um, I think these are beanies. I'm kinda scared, honestly. Cheers. I got my, my, my rice cake. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, good. I didn't know what to expect on the texture of the rice cake, but I'm mm -hmm. pleasantly surprised. I don't know, I like the chewiness. The flatfish cake is really good. My mom liked that too. I forgot water on now. The current idea is that she has printed out some Korean trivia for me. And the way it works, supposedly, is if I get it wrong, I have to take the shot glass of soju. If I get it right, she takes one. Yes. And if I get too many wrong, I'm hoping I don't fail the class. <laughs> I can't get too drunk either, so I hope there's some hard ones in there. Go for the kimchi fried rice for a second. Yeah, Delicious. Mmm. Mm. That's good. They say that in order to have a full meal mm -hmm. in Korea, you need to have rice as part of it. Mm -hmm. So, rice is always meal. a side dish. Mm -hmm. So, we need a full meal today. Mm -hmm. I hope this is a harder question. Okay, the 2018 Winter Olympics took place in this South Korean city. Seoul? No. Wait, I know. Itaewon. No. No. Pyeongchang. Would not have gotten that. <laughs> One thing I want to know about is still the scene in Itaewon class where like, there's like, that you would you watch that scene? They like, went back to it multiple times. I've seen some of it. Where it's so. like, the dad and the son, and like, they just had this like, serious thing happen to them, and then mm -hmm. they're at the bar. And then it's the dad and the son, and the dad's like, this is the first time the kid is drinking. Mm -hmm. And he takes a drink, and the dad's like, well, what is it, you know, what does it taste like? And the kid says like, oh, it's sweet. And oh, then yeah, the dad totally says is. like, oh, that means you had like, an, I, it's, it's excellent, or it's like, it's like a good, day. a good day, essentially. So. I hope mine tastes sweet, because I had a job in the review today, so. <laughs> so it should taste sweet. But so half of it, you think? Yeah, just take half. Let's just go easy on this one. That's about good. Tastes sweet! My best friend actually is Korean. Um, she's not an international student, she's lived here. But um, she'll always take me out. Miss Suman, I love her, she's my best friend. But she'll help me experience Korean culture as well. I think it's a good segue, honestly, because one of the questions I guess to be asked is why do you pick a certain dish? Mm -hmm. And I didn't really know how to go about it. And so obviously I'm going to ask one of the only Korean people I know, which is her friend, Suman. And so I asked, and she said, make taboki or make kimbap, mm -hmm. right? And I, I, there's no shot that I'd be able to make kimbap, which is a, a, you know, the, the sushi <laughs> like thing. Like the sushi, yeah. I could, I could barely make this. I can barely make, like... This is good, though. I like how it turned out. It was so cute. Um, him and Suman would always talk about the dramas. Suman loved, uh, Etewon? I'm sorry. You don't want class. You don't want... She didn't watch Coffee Prince, no. I, no. So, she was the only person I was able to talk about about each one class as I was watching it and I'm greatly like thankful for that because I need like I needed to share it with someone especially near the end where is that like tease where he might die I'm like mm -hmm. I, I needed I, I didn't get the chance to talk to him until after the fact but mm -hmm. like I right then and there I was like I need to that like say this to someone I watched like the last two episodes I was with so the kidnapping like... oh my god I didn't think it was gonna like, take that route I, I gotta say you start the show off kidnapping not think I would be I would end it <laughs> all right are you ready for question two? Before we start taking anyone class, I want to make sure that it's abundantly clear. Okay. 
that I still ship Suwa and so you know Saroi because Isu is okay. Is that the original girl? Yeah, that's like the first love. No, that's the first love. I don't know. I feel like. The show starts out. She betrayed him. She doesn't. She went she didn't. and she worked didn't. for that company. Well, tech, yes, but that one time where she like she didn't call it up that one time. I'm not sure if you watched that with me, but like I don't know. I feel like the show like started out with that relationship, and I felt like it like was too. It made too much sense to me, and I know that like they obviously developed the relationship between Yisu and Silroy, mm -hmm. but like I don't know, man. Did you see the ending with me? I saw the last two episodes. Did you see the last, like, bit of the last episode? Where she, like, finds some new... Oh, yeah, where she finds some, a new guy that was cute. Some new dude that was, like, was old, excited about and, that. Like, also calls her boss, and it's like, oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> that was funny. That was a little, a little, a little reversal there. Which 2013 K-pop song became a YouTube and dance sensation? 2013? Yeah. You know this. Is it Gangnam Style? Yeah. There's an entire, there's an entire, like, class dedicated to Gangnam Style, so I felt, because I was thinking about it, because I remember distinctly dancing to Gangnam Style, like, a, com when you're in it was a community, grade. it was a confirmation, one of my, like, friends, in, it was confirmation maybe in the 8th grade? Maybe, yeah. And he, it, it was a party and a half, but, like, <laughs> we ended up, like, dancing to Gangnam Style, doing, like, the whole thing, and yeah. I was, like, thinking. I'm just not gonna smell it. That was it. It just tastes like cheap vodka to me. I'm sorry. That's rude. I like it a lot, actually. I like less. Is it sweet to you? I shouldn't it? say... It's not sweet? I've had a better day than you, obviously. I shouldn't say, um... Cheap vodka. This one was strong. I guess trivia fact of the day. Uh, wheat cakes were used during, uh, like, after World War II and the mm -hmm. Korean War because there was a shortage of rice. And so mm -hmm. there was, like, not... You wouldn't say, like, propaganda. There was PSAs out, like, in yeah. Korea that were saying, like, ooh, eat your wheat. Yeah, eat your wheat, yeah. Eat your wheat, it's the so same so thing, sweet. like, in the United States, there's, like, meatless Mondays during the war and mm -hmm. stuff. Same concept. They say, like, the three qualities of uh, kimchi, he was saying, were, like, it has to be, like, red, spicy, and stinky. <laughs> yes. A hundred percent. Very surprised. I had someone tell me, he was from Korea, he said, oh, yeah, we have, like, own separate fridges just for kimchi. And I was like, oh, my God, that's so cool. Makes a lot of sense, because it does, you know, it's nice. Mm-hmm. It comes up. Like, so bad, now I'm going to, like, kimchi up your fridge. It's okay. Put in the other fridge. <laughs> separate fridge. So, for dessert, we have these fishy waffles. They're so cute. Got the strawberry ones, because I like strawberries. Yes, They're I wanted so chocolate, good. but, you know. Mm. I don't like chocolate. It's so cute. It is called... Semenko, strawberry. I'm very excited. Yes. It has strawberry syrup. It's so good. Right. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Yeah, it's good for sure. It looks kind of grumpy. And we're eating them right now. I guess. I wouldn't be particularly thrilled. If you could have made anything, like, like you didn't have to make it, but a professional Korean chef would make it, what would you have requested them to make? Honestly? At this point, and it's not even like a hard thing. Mm -hmm. I really want like just traditional Korean pork belly, mm -hmm. especially yeah. after that's um the documentary mm -hmm. I had to watch, and it was a really good documentary. But I like came off of that just <laughs> craving, oh, really? just craving it. That sounds good. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. I was looking at it, they were like because they, they showed all these like different ways that it's cooked, and it's such a reasonably simple dish. Mm -hmm. But it's like there's so many different like ways. Like some of them use like almost straw for the fire under it. Oh. Let's say you're like I don't know, you know, early teens. Like Fifteen. I I think that's where they recruit them. Okay, I'll say so, like sixteen. Sure. And you're like in Korea. Oh, into the army? No. You have like the option to become like an idol, like like a K-pop idol. Would you do it? Because I, we I, we've talked about this like the um. How rigorous mm. the industry is. Yeah. It's almost like, you know, they're Knowing. pumping you out. There's, you're signing. Not that you're like, this is actually uh, this is a discussion question. Like, are, yeah. are you almost like signing your rights or your rights away? But Pretty much, right? You are. Yeah. It's like they, they control what well, you, you eat. You, they it's control, like a conservative like, trip. Yeah, it's very similar. It's like the Free Britney thing. Mm -hmm. but Free Britney. Free Britney. That's what I know now. No, but if I was 15, 16, I probably would. Yeah, that's, I also, that, that's a great point. It's like, 
Because these are the people you idolize, and then to become one of them and be one of their peers? That, that is true. That's very appealing. That got to um, So we're, we're going to sign off. Um, goodbye. Thank you for watching. Thank Our you for watching. Long. Subscribe. Yes. Please give me an A. Give us a like. <laughs> <laughs> I could really use it. Thank you for this opportunity to make my boyfriend cook me delicious Korean food. Okay. I love you for it. Goodbye, everyone.